Hi everyone, and welcome to CPC's online devotional for Tuesday, October 20. Thanks for tuning in. I hope that uh, your week is uh, going well so far. I appreciate the uh, opportunity to share this online time with you today. I recently was talking with someone about everything that's going on in the world right now with all the uh, issues about COVID and wildfires and political unrest and hurricanes and just just everything that's going on and and uh, the person said well I don't guess there's much we can do about all this right now except wait and hope wait and hope well in a sense that's true although I think that what uh, my friend had in mind was a little more pessimistic than the uh, way I'd like to talk about waiting and hoping today one of the Psalms, Psalm 130, speaks of waiting and hoping and the power that comes with that. And I'd like to read that Psalm to you at this time. So listen now uh, to Psalm 130. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you, so that you may be revered. I wait for the Lord. My soul waits, and in his word I hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than those who watch for the morning, more than those who watch for the morning. O Israel, hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is steadfast love, and with the Lord is great power to redeem. It is the Lord who will redeem Israel from all its iniquities. So in that psalm, you hear those two words, wait and hope. And I want to share with you some reflections on that that were written by Eugene Peterson. Uh, Eugene Peterson is probably best known as the one who uh, wrote the, uh, the message paraphrase of the Bible. And here are some thoughts from Eugene Peterson on waiting and hoping and Psalm 130. Wait and hope. The words are at the center of the psalm. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word I hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than watchmen for the morning, more than watchmen for the morning. O Israel, hope in the Lord. The words wait and hope are connected with the image of the watchman waiting through the night for the dawn. The connection provides important insights for the person in trouble who asks, but surely there is something for me to do. The answer is yes, there is something for you to do, or more exactly, there is someone you can be. Be a watchman. A watchman is an important person, but he doesn't do very much. The massive turning of the earth, the immense energies released by the sun, all that goes on apart from the watchman. He does nothing to influence or control such things. He is a watchman. He knows the dawn is coming. There are no doubts concerning that. Meanwhile, he is alert to dangers. He comforts restless children or animals until it is time to work or play again in the light of day. Nor would the psalmist have been content to be a watchman if he were not sure of God. The psalmists and the Christians waiting and hoping is based on the conviction that God is actively involved in creation and vigorously at work for redemption. Waiting does not mean doing nothing. It is not fatalistic resignation. It means going about our assigned task, confident that God will provide the meaning and the conclusions. It is not compelled to work away at keeping up appearances with a bogus spirituality. It is the opposite of desperate and panicky manipulations of scurrying and worrying. And hoping is not dreaming. It is not spinning an illusion of fantasy to protect us from our boredom or our pain. It means a confident, alert expectation that God will do what God said 
God will do. It is imagination put in the harness of faith. It is a willingness to let God do it God's way and in God's time. It is the opposite of making plans that we demand that God put into effect, telling God both how and when to do it. That is not hoping in God, that is bullying God. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word I hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than watchmen for the morning, more than watchmen for the morning. Let's conclude with a brief word of prayer. Gracious and loving God, in you we hope, in you we wait, in you we trust. Support us and nurture us and encourage us during this time of hoping and waiting. Show us how to live as your faithful followers. This we pray in Christ's name. Amen. So thank you again for tuning in today. I look forward to sharing uh, online time with you again this coming Thursday. Until then, God's peace and blessings to each of you. Goodbye.